I became fascinated with the complexity of the cellular world in high school. In college, I decided to pursue a Bachelor of Science degree in biology. During my time in undergrad at Ohio State, I conducted cancer research in the Lori Chowdhury Lab at the Comprehensive Cancer Center. At the same time, I discovered a new passion as I pursued a minor in architecture. My architecture classes allowed me to think critically about the built environment. During my spring introductory studio with Ben Wilkie, I realized my future was in architecture. I completed my undergraduate biology degree because I love science and I was also hopeful that when I started my graduate journey in architecture, I would be able to incorporate my background in biology in different ways. My G1 year in the Master of Architecture program has been great. I have been challenged and inspired by my professors and classmates. The Knowlton School is a very special community to be a part of, and the studio environment plays a large part in creating this unique, shared experience among the students. The structure of the studio also allows for a lot of direct contact with faculty, especially during desk critiques as you receive guidance on how to develop and improve your projects. In just my first year, I have noticed how much I am developing as an architect. My model making skills have improved as I have become more proficient in design work that utilizes Rhino software, laser cutters, and even the woodshop CNC mill. I have also learned how to critically present the work I produce. Reviews with faculty allow me to gain feedback and insight on my projects, to see possibilities I might not have considered, and to understand how I can improve my design work. Coming into the Knowlton Graduate School with a non-design undergraduate degree allows me to approach architecture from a unique perspective. I am able to think creatively and compare the complexity of a building to that of an organism, as well as organize a building's program with reference to biology's myriad processes, interactions, and mechanisms. I am excited to see how the intersection of biology and architecture will help propel my future career and sustain my journey to evolve as a student in ways I never imagined.